My name is Ukwai and in the following we will venture beyond monochromatic single lens filters that allow for near tetrachromatic color vision and explore the world of double color filters in order to achieve an even more chromatic color vision than neurotypical trichromats. This will give us the ability to make out even more color differences in between the already existing colors than a mere monochromatic single lens filter could ever achieve. Colors will appear increasingly more vivid, saturated and distinct from each other and color contrast will mostly be enhanced. In effect, we will be able to see four more secondary colors. However, in this case, not without losing a few colors along the way, though far less than are newly created. In the last video on how to achieve near tetrachromatic vision, I refrained from calling the enhanced color vision via a monochromatic magenta single lens filter that's placed in front of only one eye, fully tetrachromatic, as it is still far from real tetrachromacy, even though we can technically make out more color differences. This becomes apparent. If we combine two monochromatic filters that each possess a sufficiently different color Color hue. If we choose the correct color hue for each of the two filters so that only a minimal amount of metamers are being destroyed while a maximal amount of metamers are being created, we should, in theory, be able to make out even more color differences. To test this theory, we first have to choose which color hues we should combine in order to minimize color loss and maximize color creation. For the right eye, a monochromatic magenta lens is perfect for the reasons we've already discussed in my aforementioned previous video. I highly recommend you to watch that video first in order to better understand the following line of reasoning. A magenta color filter singles out green and lowers its color value. This is its darkness or lightness. However, a lower color value also results in a shift of the surrounding colors closer to the darkened color. Therefore, we can postulate that a lower spectral sensitivity response in a cone type correlates with a perceived color shift, at least in neurotypical trichromats. Green is naturally the most mixed color as it's placed in between the blue and green cone spectral sensitivity curves and thus is highly qualified to be altered. For the left eye color filter, we should avoid using a primary color. If we'd combine a magenta and a green filter, for example, we should in theory see all the colors. And we do still see a lot of colors, however, in this case, there are still colors whose loss could be avoided. This becomes apparent if we compare the green filter with a yellow one. While green mainly only lets through green light and darkens both red and blue light, a yellow filter lets through red and green light and really darkens blue. So if we combine two secondary colors like magenta and yellow, we have two red inputs via both eyes instead of just one. Furthermore, as there is by implication more light allowed to pass through a yellow filter, as compared to a pure green one, the colors we see will generally be perceived as brighter in comparison. In the following, I will concentrate on the combination of a magenta and a yellow filter. A magenta cyan and cyan yellow combination is also possible, however, I like the beautiful new impossible colors created by the magenta yellow combination the most, and thus I've grown most acquainted with this combination. As you have to learn to see, differentiate and appreciate the new colors of each combination, it's only natural to have a favorite one. I have already talked about how a magenta lens affects the perceived color spectrum. So let's focus on the yellow lens in the following. The yellow lens essentially darkens blue. However, as the value of blue is being diminished, the surrounding colors shift closer to blue, allowing us to make out more color differences in the blue magenta and blue cyan color spaces. The newly created colors are impossible color hue combinations of magenta and blue, and impossible color hue combinations of cyan and blue. With this yellow lens in front of one of our eyes, we will be able to make out approximately double 
the color differences in between the blue magenta and blue cyan color spaces. It allows us to perceive impossible color hue combinations like a blue purple, a color that's both blue and purple, or a blue cobalt, a color that's both blue and cobalt. It is truly hard to describe the quality of these newly created colors with just words, but I can attempt to show you how much more color differences I can see with magenta yellow lensed glasses by examining my color discriminability with the help of a little color discrimination test I've created that's heavily inspired by pseudo isochromatic color plate tests like the Ishihara test for color blindness. This is a test where you have to identify a number surrounded by either chromatic noise or a very similar chromatic hue that makes it more difficult to differentiate. While you most likely won't be able to make out any difference or a significant color difference as opposed to just a difference in value of the colors in this here example, I can easily identify the numbers. While this effect is most extreme in the yellow-green color space for me personally, it also works perfectly in the blue magenta color space. Although in the case of the blue magenta color space, I can somewhat still identify similar colors by value, however not by hue. This naked eye identification by value is kept within a limit and I can make out noticeably more color differences with the help of the yellow lens. Nevertheless, the combination of two color filters results in a loss of color discriminability as well. In the case of the magenta-yellow combination, especially the magenta to red and to a lesser extent also the yellow to red color spaces suffer from the loss of a few metamers. As both the yellow and magenta filters, for example, shift pink, the color in between magenta and red, to a more reddish hue, we can indeed still make out color differences but they are more similar than before. This is effectively the opposite of what the color filters induce in their adequate and intended color spaces. Most of these metamers are not really being destroyed, but rather assimilated. So they are technically still noticeable, but to a lesser extent, especially without color detection training. For the next part, we will look at how these two color filters combine to create beautiful, new and impossible color combinations. Mainly, I want to focus on cyan. With magenta yellow lens glasses, we are able to see true cyan. But what the muffin is true cyan, you might ask? Well, true cyan is a cyan that we can see when all of our red cones are maximally saturated while looking at a deep red and we when quickly look away at a cyan background. The brain now sees a cyan overlapping with cyan and interprets this double cyan as a more cyanish cyan. Weird, I know. Just pause the video and statically look at the red dot in the middle for a minute or two and thereafter look at the cyan background. We can permanently, as well as without such a hassle, use this effect with the help of the magenta yellow lensed glasses. Cyan is supposedly a perfect mixture of green and blue. However, the cyan we see is most often far from a perfect mixture of these two primary colors. A magenta lens makes cyan appear blue by darkening green light, while a yellow lens makes cyan appear green by darkening blue light. These new green and blue colors are very isolated and pure versions of their respective primary colors. In fact, especially in natural light conditions, they might be even purer than the primaries you see with the naked eye. It's only natural then, that by combining these two primaries, we'll see a more cyanish cyan. Normal cyan looks almost white in comparison, particularly after my brain and eyes have fully adjusted to the color filters and the color cones have re-normalized themselves. Color contrast is also greatly enhanced, especially the contrast between the primary and secondary colors. The most enhanced new color contrast, for me personally, is the contrast between cyan and magenta. I can only describe this effect as color magic, because cyan and magenta, while technically still being the same colors, glow like beacons and possess such a stark contrast that normal cyan and magenta look pale pastel and almost whitish in comparison. 
The magenta cyan contrast while wearing the magenta yellow lensed glasses is beautiful to such an extent that I can't imagine my life without the option to tap into this new wonderful world of impossible color. How many new color differences can I perceive? Well, referring to the magenta yellow lensed glasses, it's not that difficult to calculate. I can approximately make out double the color differences in the yellow green, cyan green, cyan blue and magenta blue color spaces. One duplication of such a color space, for example yellow to green, where I can normally comfortably identify about 16 distinct greens, I can now, with the help of a magenta lens, identify about 32 distinct greens. Of course, I can theoretically make out a lot more greens, especially if I would consider color value as well. But if these greens are not arranged directly side by side in a color palette, but are singled out, it's difficult to tell a strong color difference. To calculate the normal amount of color differences that I can see, I just have to take the total amount of these color spaces, which is 6, and multiply that with the strongly perceivable color differences, which is about 16. We thereby get approximately 96 strong color differences. Again, I can see more than this, but these are the color differences that are comfortable to identify. To calculate the altered amount of color differences with the magenta yellow lens glasses, we just have to adjust these two numbers a little bit. Four color spaces are doubled, so we have to multiply 4 times 32 and add 2 times 16, which results in 160 strong color differences. If we now divide 160 by 96, we get an increase in color differences of about 66%. However, because there is a loss of a few metamers in the magenta red and yellow red color spaces, the increase in color discriminability is more like 50%. That's still an astonishing 1.5 times the normal colors. And if I compare this increase with what I'm actually seeing, it's quite accurate. Considering the standard amount of about 2 million colors a neurotopical trichromat can distinguish, with the help of the magenta yellow lens glasses, it's now about 3 million colors. This is obviously nothing compared to real tachycomets like some birds, where the fourth cone is optimally spaced apart from the other color cones, where the amount of distinct colors is more like 100 million. But it's more, way more than I could have ever imagined just as little as two years ago. And it's unbelievably beautiful. Double color filters are amazing. And if you just want to see new, strange and impossible colors and you don't care for metamers being destroyed, you can experiment with the combination of literally all the colors you can perceive. And yes, I know from personal experience that this is not as easy as it sounds, because you first have to acquire the right colored lenses and adequate glasses. And obtaining these tools is generally both costly and a bit impractical, at least if you don't know where to look and how to search for it. Luckily, I've already gone through this endeavor and can share my experience with you. There are glasses out there with a rather good, but of course not perfect amount of differently colored lenses. These are the Prisma Spectrochrome Color Glasses and they are available on Amazon. These glasses are special because you can separately pop out the lenses and then put them in again. In this way you can easily combine all the colored lenses that you've obtained. However, these glasses are only functional and the beauty of their appearance is highly debatable in my opinion. Be prepared to look like an alien if you decide to buy them. And no, this is, admittedly sadly, not a paid advertisement. These are just the only glasses I found with such an easily interchangeable variety of differently colored lenses. If you look at my cow character, you may have noticed the colors of the horns. They are magenta-ish and yellowish. After this video you might understand why I chose this subtle color duo. The topic of one of my next videos will be even more amazing.
it is not possible to combine the effects of all three secondary color filters that I've mentioned and shown in this here video. This is magenta, sign and yellow, because you can't wear all three of them at the same time. At least not without temporal multiplexing and thereby making use of time as an additional dimension. But that's a topic for yet another video. This impossible combination of all three secondary color filters would make us a super trichromat. If we had three eyes, this would be possible, but with just two, it's an unattainable desire. However, there are in fact glasses out there that achieve a very similar effect. Glasses that allow for a nearly hexachromatic color vision, where you can, for instance, distinguish monochromatic orange light from an orange mixture of green and red light and so forth. How these glasses work and how to obtain them will be the topic of one of my next videos. You can also brace yourself for videos about polarized light, birefringence and its colorful stress patterns and how to make polarized light dye or even multichromatically distinguishable. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences, because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching. Thank you.